Hi there, and I hope you're doing okay. My name is Emma Mamo, and I'm Head of Workplace Wellbeing at Mind, the mental health charity. We're working in partnership with the film and TV charity to bring you this series of Mindful Mondays, so thanks for watching. Now that industries are reopening and people are returning to a workplace, we know there's gonna be a lot of anxiety around that. There's probably gonna be a lot of pressure to um, produce products quickly. Being um, a supportive line manager can make all the difference to your teams as they transition back into work. But if you do oversee or supervise people and you have responsibility for their well-being, it's really important that you have the confidence to perform that part of your role well. We know that people can often have concerns about contract renewals, their finances, performance. So having regular check-ins with the people you oversee, giving them updates where you can, and sometimes even if there's no update, letting them know that will ease any ease some concerns that they have and at least keeps them up to date. It's also important to create a open and supportive culture where you talk about mental health, where you're reflective, where you're giving people feedback about how they're doing, both positive feedback and also constructive feedback where they need to improve and also asking for feedback about how you're supporting people. The most effective way you can create an open and supportive culture around mental health is to make it business as usual, to just normalise having conversations about mental health. If in how your team is run that you have regular team meetings, it could be helpful at the start to introduce a team temperature check where you ask everybody in the team to share a score for their well-being from one to ten, one being not so great, ten being great. Um, if, if people want to, they can just share a bit of um, detail about you know, more than their number, what that means for them, what's going on for them. If anybody does give themselves a low score, then it'd be important to follow up with them outside of the meeting to just check if there's anything you could do to support them, to signpost them to any support that might be available in your organisation or to encourage them to seek support from their GP. But indeed in the meeting, if they're sharing how they're doing and they might be struggling, then even their colleagues might be able to um, offer some support or um, guidance to them could just really open up conversations about mental health. So it can just be a really helpful tool to get people to really check in with themselves and, and reflect on where they're at. The next point of course is about having regular one-to-ones with people that you oversee. Um, this could be a weekly catch-up, it could be a more in-depth monthly or six weekly catch-up, but it's really important to ask about people's well-being as part of those catch-ups as well as whatever work needs to get out the door. I think if you are going to ask about someone's well-being, start off with how are you. Sometimes you might need to ask twice because we can all say we're fine and then want to breathe, breeze on past. Um, you can then explore any support that you could offer to them if they are struggling or experiencing any issues. And then I think it would be important to agree a time when you are going to check in with them again if they are struggling. So it might be a more frequent catch up during that time to support them. Building on that, if you are overseeing people, it's really important to understand them as individuals. Um, for many years, we've been promoting the use of a tool called a wellness action plan. So that captures um, what keeps someone well at work. So what are the habits, behaviors, approaches that um, support them to have good mental health in their job? And then you capture what steps it's helpful for you to take if you are struggling with your mental health and then what steps that your line manager can take. So it really should be a tool to facilitate a conversation between you as the manager and the people you manage um, so you can best understand how to support them both in staying well and thriving in, in, in their role but equally how best to help them if they are struggling. So just to finish, I think it's just really important to emphasise the fact that we all have mental health. It exists on a spectrum. We move up and down it from good to poor for any number of reasons. And considering how much time we spend at work, of course, that can have a significant impact on our mental health. As a people manager, as someone who supervises others and has responsibility for their well-being, it's really important that you have the confidence and um, capabilities to ask people about their mental health and then explore what you can offer in, in support if they are struggling. So I hope the tools I've offered today will help you in that.